Let's go fucking mental. Just take <laughs> stuff and run it, you know? Mm. Like, that's just a, a footy, a hooligan chant. Yeah. And I thought it was funny to just rip, set it to a tune and own it. Mm. We'll see how far it travels. Yeah. We got the World Cup coming up. <laughs> it's menacing. I could see it happening. Yeah. I don't know. Have you listened to other song? Um, unfortunately, I haven't. No. Like this oh, is the this first. Is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Then why are we talking? No, no, no. I'm talking because I'm very curious oh, about okay. it. Yeah. Really? No, it's a real shame. Like I, I, I unfortunately didn't get a copy in advance, so that's why I'm inquiring now. Oh, so yeah, Jesus. I'm really gutted, but I'm really pleased. Different questions. This, this record's out of control. I know, but like the good thing is, is that there's enough surrounding it and the way in which it was made for me to to get curious because I, I mean, it's for... all like disco beats and stuff. I took like uh, Michael Jackson Rock with you. Had the one of the <laughs> best drummers in the world just play it exactly not sample wow you set up in the studio came back in and just made up my own music on top of these like million sellers like it's beats like that wow what, what made you want to do that why those sort of reference points those are completely different i was so. thinking in some cinematic terms terms that, that was an interesting foundation for a level and then we just got completely mashed and i made this twisted music on top of it mm. has nothing to do with the way mm. those songs actually are Mm. But there's something about the structure of those songs, the sort of like kind of the confidence of the beat of those songs that is just so, you know, you can... You had Quincy Jones yeah, is responsible yeah. for that more than Michael Jackson. I mean, he's like yeah. the shit. <laughs> is it okay that I cussed? Yeah, it's plenty fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, you know, I could find other words, but that, that is an apt description of, of his power, his contribution to... Just, just so you know, Anton, this section is called Real Talk. You can say whatever you fucking like. Have you watched, have you watched that um, R. Kelly Real Talk? Yes. Um, well, this, this section is named after that, that very song. So it's changed you know, that David lives. Chappelle has probably put him up to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there must awesome. be something that's yeah, pushed him in that direction. He, he, unless he's just, you know, I'm like that. I, I, what do you think? What's your take on R. Kelly? All I know is he went to court and he got out of it. That guy's got some power. Yeah, that's true. Your average black man can't get away with, you know, basically racial politics. In America, yeah. with being black, right. you're liable to get arrested, mm. kind of. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Do you know, there's a certain lady, amount of that, like they say, driving more black or whatever, yeah. you know, racial profiling and all this stuff. Um, so <laughs> that tells you something when these people get away with that kind of stuff because that isn't the common experience. But no, the thing that's also interesting as well is like obviously you're saying you live in Berlin now, but like making it in Iceland and Berlin, like too culturally. Like you don't for even so know that there's songs in Russian on this. Room. No, no, no. I'm aware about songs. In I'm building up to it, Anton. I'll give it. Yeah, gosh, you're, you're upstaging my moments. This is I, mental. I know it's a shame I haven't heard it, but um, you know, I was going to do like a, I was going to ask you to do an impression of each song in a second, so we can uh -huh. go through. <laughs> no, I'm joking, obviously. Yeah. No, no. no so what I was going to say was, um, like, the good thing about something like Iceland and Berlin as two cultures is that they're such small insular places, but so many creative and different sort of interesting people and sounds and studios. What was it like being submerged in just those, you know, like, surroundings to, to create the new record? That must have really changed your, your I guess, comfort zone even. Oh, I don't think that I've ever really had a comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, it's wherever you are. You know... I'm very much an independent person, bohemian. I, I make my own culture, mm. you know. It's, it's built with pastiche, you know. I'm borrowing things from, that I like from other things, but it's... Is there anything in that, with that state in mind, did you absorb anything I from that? I was those? just laughing today. I was watching, I don't know what it was, one of these, these daytime shows in, in the UK, and, and I was thinking about the, the normal guy who sort of had his hair gel up like this, and then it was frosted a little bit. Just your normal guy that would be on a TV show, a normal bloke. And I was thinking that guy probably would have looked more like a hippie or something in the 60s mm. just to go along with it. And I was thinking about the difference between me and all these people. Like, you see everybody with their spiky hair gel. Yeah. They, they all automatically right now think it's a better idea than just having... Like my hair, I, just, I cut it and it grows out all one length. But they think it's like... Uh, a, isn't it bizarre? Mm. That like there's just like... Like everybody's pushed into this one thing. They think that's a, the best idea to put a ton of goop in your hair and frost the bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess at least with long hair or something, it's a natural reaction, isn't it? It's, it's something that your hair is going to do eventually. <laughs> Whereas if you have to affect it to a style that other people are wearing, suddenly the uniqueness and fashion are yeah, we just odds with each other. Strange, strange world. <laughs> And people forget about the, the 60s. You know, you look at Woodstock and you're like, oh, these masses of the youth culture, everybody's just doing their own thing and grooving. But people forget that, you know, it was like 99% of the people were just, had no opinions and were just following, following the, the trend. Yeah. And that everybody was just, just 
Grow your hair into an afro. Grow your hair long. So, so, I mean, what is the best way in your experience? Because obviously you seem to have found your own. It has to be the best way for me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) And I guess it should be for everyone else, isn't it? Their own way. I think if you're capable, I think there's things that go along with that that sort of independence. You know, you are on your own then. (laughs) 